the problem with my channel seems to be that I'm too complex for people. That Those are the complaints I'm getting, that everything is too advanced and I'm going too fast. The last two videos I've made, you're starting to hear me vent these disgruntled opinions. And I have to say that I don't care. You have to absorb this knowledge and I know it's all coming fast and at one time but just look at the money the money in my account is coming fast and you know what really comes fast is like learning to not repeat the same mistake twice and get burned and get hurt that's what comes fast is you know not wanting to get hurt and through necessity I've stopped doing certain things like buying stocks and instead of bought dividends because I'm just tired of, you know, uh, repeating the same vicious cycle all the time. I mean, that's, I've traded for 20 years and people to this day still just want to trade stocks all the time. Like I traded stocks, but there are so many problems with stocks. It's, um, where do I begin? First, if you make all your money in stocks, it doesn't act as qualifying income to a bank. So you can't do anything with your stock money. All you can do is um, sit there and look at it and, you know, think it's pretty. Uh, and that's about it. You can't do anything with it. You can't buy a house with it. You can't do anything with it. Um, Fangu, for example, you see Fangu here up 18% for me. And it pays no dividend. So the bank, as far as the bank is concerned, that gain didn't even happen today. So, uh, 90% of traders lose in the stock market over time. They cannot beat the S&P consistently. Why do you think you can beat the S&P consistently through trading? I mean, yeah, some years you have good years, and yeah, trading is fun. But why don't you trade the way I trade, which is sell options on the same vehicles? I love using the Tesla example because everyone's buying Tesla at 100 or 170 a share, and I bought Tesla at 50, except I didn't even buy it. I just control the option and I made $800 to do it, 795. If you own Tesla stock at 100 a share and it went to 170, which it just did, you made a 70% gain. That's $700 on $1,000. Well, I still made more than you. On a 70% gain, I still made $100 more than you, and I did it taking no risk. You took all your risk and assumed your risk and your outright money. I didn't even invest, and I just sold the option at 50, and my true cost basis is 42, because 50 minus 795, rounded to eight, is 42. What's so complicated about that? Why invest in stocks outright? Why not get a more attractive cost basis like I did in Tesla and get paid handsomely to do so? And that's just for our stock exposure here. You know, this is just so we play the FOMO game. We don't have any FOMO. And all these premiums reduce our margin. Uh, these premiums that we've collected here, you know, 11,000, 1,100, 1,700, seven, you know, but look, these are in fives and threes. So five times seven here, that's uh, 3,500 in the TQQQs that we got. I mean, you add all these up, all these columns up, all these premiums, and it comes out to like 30, 40, 50 grand. I mean, that's, can you make that much in trading stocks? I don't think so. And I don't even own the stocks. I'm, I'm just controlling these stocks at a much lower price than everyone else is controlling them at outright. And then I take all the proceeds and I invest them in passive income up top. They give me the 20% dividends. As you can see here in our performance and value, we're up. 25% to start the year, whereas the S&P is only up 7, the NASDAQ's up 13, so we're beating both. And as you see here from our estimated income, we're up, we, we make 95,000 a year. So yes, we make 95,000 a year in dividends paid monthly, which is great, and stocks won't do that for you. But we also make 12,000 in a day. You can't do that in stocks. I mean, if you try to make 12,000 in a day on stocks, you're going to be pulling your hair out every day because if you're up 12,000 in a day, then you could easily be down 13,000 in another day because look, as you can see, I'm up 2%, okay? With the indexes, okay? The indexes are up t let's see, 2.8, 1.3, okay? 2.8 Dow's down, Nasdaq's up 2.8, S&P's up 1.3. 
Okay, so we're, we're just performing with the indexes. Better than the S&P, worse than the NASDAQ. You stay in these sweet spots because 2% on 400,000 is a lot of money. 400,000 plus, you got to understand, plus the 200 in debt. So 600,000. So I'm taking risk in a different way than you guys. I'm not assuming risk through outright stocks that pay no dividends and don't qualify to a bank. I'm using this equity number here, the 700,000 margin. Okay, you use this equity, which every account gives. Every account, brokerage account, gives $4 for every one. So this 416 is really worth times four, 1.6 million. And the reason why I don't have... 1.6 million showing here is because I'm invested. So this is how you really make money in the stock market. You you have to put all your money behind something for it to matter. You can't put all your money behind a Tesla because it could go down on you and you could lose your whole retirement in one night. And even if it went up, it doesn't qualify to a bank. And even if you owned it outright at 100, you can own it at a better price of 50. Okay, I'm just I'm just taking the route that you guys are taking that are you know where you're enduring this pain and I've endured the pain for 20 years and eventually you make a change when you're tired of going in the same loop. Okay, you might as well compare yourself to a gambler in a casino. You know, some years they win, some years they lose, but overall the house always wins over time and. It just you just become a degenerate in a sense when you just follow gambling. Now stocks is, are better than gambling in a casino because they're much more calculated risk. That's why I fell in love with stocks to begin with. But once you find the truth that stocks can't win ninety percent of the time, you can't beat the S and P, and the other truth that they don't even act as qualifying income to a bank if you want to get a loan in life and actually do something with your account then all you're doing is trading to have fun and it's a zero-sum game because over time, the house will always win. It's hard to beat the S&P. So see my past video that I made today, earlier this morning on, you know, how, why it's uh, hard to use stocks. And, you know, if, if you had a $10,000 account, guys, which many people don't even have, $10,000 account, are you going to put the whole $10,000 in Tesla? No, because you need to diversify. So you're going to put sprinkle 1000 in 10 different names. Well, some names will be up today. Some names will be down today. So overall, you're going to be just in line with the indexes. Uh, you'll be up about 1% to 2 or 3% in your portfolio because the stocks all balance each other, each other out through diversification. So, and if you put all your money in Tesla, like I said, that's just a dumb move because it could pay off. But if you're in it last year with all your money, you lost almost everything. You lost like 50% of your money and you had no dividends to live off of. The dividends were getting us through the market last year. So if you had $10,000, you're really going to put 1,000 into something, not 10. And if you just put one and you bought 1,000 at 100 a share, it went to 170 Tesla. Good for you. You made $700, but I still made $800 selling the put. And with your $10,000 account, you could have had all that equity to do the same thing, sell a put on Tesla, but then use the other 10 grand, but really 10,800 because you got 800 more in premiums. Use the 10,800 to invest in these passive income names that give you monthly dividends. They pay you more than the market, than the stocks would. They act as qualifying income and you get days gains from the market. Okay. So this is why dividend investing is better than stocks. I, I, I'm going to make many more videos. My channel is dedicated to this whole philosophy that passive income beats stocks but i just wanted to give a few pearls as to why you're wasting your time with stocks you and you might as well stop uh, going in the same vicious cycle and start with pa getting on passive income in these dividends and sell options on stocks instead as a way to still get the exposure but you lower your cost basis significantly so you lower your risk significantly tesla will never go to 42 50 minus 8 42 stop saying this stuff is complicated stop saying it's complex get a dictionary out learn some terms okay and stop and, and start Figuring out how to not repeat your same mistakes and bash your head against the wall every day by losing, losing, you win here, and then you lose. Start selling options. Then you never lose because th the stock won't get to that price, odds are. And as long as it settles above that price by January 25th, I'm going to take in $800.
And so I get the experience of a Tesla. I don't have people saying, "Oh, I was in Tesla. I made all this money today," and you don't, and you have a FOMO. I got the I got the gain with Tesla, but I'm really getting these monster gains from passive income, dividend paying names like these, which I've done many videos on, which I will not link in the description. I keep saying now I'm standing up for myself. I don't care how I sound. I don't want to be a traditional YouTuber. I think those people are sick. You know, just trying to make fear mongering, um, you know, headlines and tell people the doom and gloom is coming and keep people broken in the poorhouse their whole lives. I just want you to see my channel. I'm not going to curate anything. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for you anymore. I'm tired of trying to win you people over just for the sake of having a better video. Look at the better numbers in here, okay? And make your decision based on that. I hope the numbers speak for themselves. I hope my performance speaks for itself. I hope my dividends speak for themselves. And I hope that uh, you start seeing the light and follow this channel so that you can see all my daily updates on the portfolio. And when you do, you'll just learn through osmosis what I'm doing, okay? And then grab a dictionary if you have any other questions. Thank you.